Hello guys, Leapy Frog Joe. We're gonna be doing another mission of uh, Battlefield 3. I think it's mission number 12 now. Anyways, uh, let me shut up for the, the the cinematic or whatever. So you admit to shooting your commanding officer under the direction of a Russian agent? Is that correct? So unless you have something else significant to share with us, Sergeant, this investigation is over. You have been played. It's the Russians. Oh, it's Solomon. Haven't you listened to anything I've been saying? You want us to believe that there's a PLR threat and Solomon's at the head? Yes. To believe that you acted in the best interests of our nation when you let a Russian agent go and shot your own man. But we can't. Nothing can be corroborated. This is insane. No one can verify the third nuke even exists. The bank collapsed. al is dead. Your unit is dead. Dimas presumed dead. Kafrov's dead. 80,000 French people are actually dead. Those are all your witnesses, Sergeant. The only thing we can say happened for sure is you fragged your CO. Bring him in. You saw this man shoot his commanding officer, right? Just knock off the bullshit, Sergeant. Didn't Dima set you up? Didn't he talk you into shooting Cole and then escape to Paris where he triggered the nuke? Wasn't that Dima? Solomon has the nuke. Solomon is one of ours. He is an overseas asset, and he has been for years. We put him next to Al-Bashir for information. You are shitting me. He's a murderer. You saw the video. Well, you get the good with the bad when it comes to assets, and sometimes sacrifices must be made for the greater good. Isn't that your angle? Jesus Christ, the nuke is still out there. Solomon's still out there. You can't just walk away from the threat. You might be right, Sergeant. Maybe Solomon was too close to the fire, but I assure you we are on top of this situation. The Russians are a clear and present threat. Yes. What do you mean you lost a train? Solomon's using the PLR. He is an overseas asset and he has been for years. He uses it. And he uses everyone. And he said, get the bombs. 80,000 dead. We can avert war between our nations. Well, the blast shield matches Russian suitcase nuke specs. We secured what appears to be a WMD. Wait, there's room for two more. How many portable nuclear devices did you see in the bank vault? Where the hell are the other two? The 14 of this one. We got maps of Paris, New York. He's using public transit to move the weapons. Soleiman will strike. The train map inside the bank vault. Uh -huh. What was the time written on it? Um, six, um, two. Why? Dave, trust me. Oh my god. Oh my god, what is going on? Ow. Ouch. Ah! I'm stuck like this. Couldn't give me the key. Yes, I did. Wow, that was extremely lucky. So this is this is like the first mission where we saw us running around with the handcuffs on. Now I, I picked it up beforehand. Now it makes sense. <laughs> Just like the beginning part. PLR, I got it! This all makes sense! Don't need to show me no tutorials. 
can't believe we're gonna do this again. And the shotgun. Out the train. That's Solomon right there. Makes jump for it. Holy Jesus. Well, you can shoot while you're jumping out. Imagine you was just he was just about to stop everyone, he died right there. Wow, that was awesome. You're good, soldier. You are good. What's next? Uh, I'm not afraid to die. How about you? Uh, help! Snap. What the deuce? Did someone just die? <laughs> that is funny. Stop throwing grenades back here, turds. I have no armor. Is that Solomon? No, it wasn't. It looked like him. Uh oh, that's not good. Oh shoot, what? Okay. Montez, what up, bro?
Hey, I didn't mean to shoot at you. Nice pin maneuver. Ah, oh, crap. No one's gonna help. Somebody help me. I was just gonna stay there, watch me get beaten with the guy's a gun. I understand everyone ran away, but nobody's even. Everyone's just watching. I mean, he sees me in marine uniform. They know who's the clear person is. The the the, the friendly. Ow. Oh man. Radiation is like life. A uniquely damaging event. Perhaps I will live another 30 years. Oh, he survived. I will die tomorrow. I am telling my story here. The story of how Solomon used power-hungry men like Al-Bashir and Kafarov to set fire to the world. And the American Marine, who, like me, chose the hardest path of all. But I have no regrets. I have always served Russia trying to make a difference. Sometimes I was forced to make difficult choices. Many lives have been saved. Many have been lost. I am certain Moscow does not view it in the same light as I do. No, don't Nothing. kill yourself. As Vladimir would say, you can only die once. Make sure it is worth it. No. Please don't kill yourself. Oh, unless he's about to, you know, go to jail then, yeah. I guess. What the heck? No. I mean, why would why would the people not pay attention to the th threat of a nuke? Wow, that is the end of the game? Oh my. I really wonder if they continue with this or anything else in the fourth battlefield. I really don't want to play the bat fourth battlefield. Because it's, it's already about to become Battlefield Hardline and... I do not want to spend another 60 bucks trying to get it. But yeah, I guess we're done. That that literally took me only like three days to beat. Like in total, because I played one full day, got five missions done. Okay, so there's an ending cutscene. Uh... Anything? Nope, that is it. I'm basically done here, and I finally got a message out of the entire campaign I played. This is the first message I got. Let's see what it says. No, just, just no. Anyways, that campaign, I'd say w it was good. It was a good campaign. I can't lie. I mean, I was interested. I, w I was connecting the dots. I was playing throughout it. The only thing was, I find the campaign extremely short. I mean, I, I wouldn't want a three-day campaign like I did. I'm mean, like actual three days, like 72 hours long campaign. 
the campaign was only 12 missions, and I literally, each mission, I mean, if you could have actually beat on the first try and just flew through it, each mission was like 15 minutes, so I mean, 15, 10, 150 minutes, so about... Like I said, it's just a bit short. more anamorphic people but I mean it was a good campaign I very enjoyed it they had good uh, character development throughout they it was a good investigation it was hard but I mean I mean I don't know it was I liked it I mean out of 10 I'd give the campaign a, a seven or a seven and a half seven and a half like I, I wouldn't push towards more towards the eight I'd push more towards a seven but I mean anyways I mean I, I'd say if you, if you were to had a chance to rent finish the campaign, play a little bit of the multiplayer. The multiplayer is pretty fun if you have a few friends online. Although this is it's pretty lame if you don't have any friends. So I mean if you just get to if you have a scheduled time with your friends to play with, definitely do the co-op. I'm gonna have to finish the co-op missions. I've already done like two or three of them. Uh just have to finish them all on hard. I have to finish the campaign on hard and I'm on done and I'm basically done. I mean I've got to play multiplayer which is gonna be dumb because I'm bad at it. But anyways I hope you enjoyed this ca entire campaign series. Only twelve parts didn't really take that long. Like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and finally, stay froggy, and be prepared for the next uh, campaign walkthrough, which will probably be Battlefield 2. Uh, I'd have to I'd have to go backwards in Battlefield. Why did I do that? That is dumb. Alright, stay froggy, guys. 17 minutes. Yeah.